Hi, this is Chris. Today I will talk about how we can use the Internet of Things in the finance sector. And I will show you how we can monitor the global stock market on a world map using a smart and connected device. Even if most information today is available at the hand's reach, which is usually a smartphone, there is a point in making some information even easier to access. In a previous video, I've shown you how an airline company was using the color of a flower to show their sales. So this time I wanted to make something even more visual and decided to make a world map with the current state of each major stock exchange in the world. To do that, you need an Arduino June, an RGB LED strand with at least 25 pixels, a 5 volt power adapter and a female connector, three jumper wires and a board with a world map that has 12 millimeter holes for each stock exchange location. To set up the hardware, you start by disconnecting everything from its power source and then connect the Arduino ground to the strands ground, the Arduino pin 2 to the strands data pin, which is usually yellow or white, the Arduino pin 3 to the strands clock pin, which is usually green, the power adapter minus to the strands ground and the power adapter plus to the strands VCC. The last two you connect via the female connector. And I put a link in the description to an excellent page uh, by Adafruit uh, with more details on how to connect the strand. This is the code for the omnichannel service that query the stock exchange status and returns an array of statuses. And it gets the current change percent for each stock exchange from Yahoo on lines 2 to 3. Then it extracts the rows on line 4 and creates an array on line 5 to store each status. It loops over each row on line 6, set each status on line 8 and then the statuses are returned comma separated. This service can be deployed to a cloud server with the name colors.php. And I show you how to do that in my video called Omnichannel Services First Service. This is the Arduino code or sketch to get the statuses from the Omnichannel Service and set the colors of the corresponding LEDs. And after the initial include on line one to three, Variables are defined for the network client on line 5 and the LED strand on line 6. Then some more variables are defined on line 7 to 8, like an array with the LEDs that are to be shown on the map. And the reason is as the cable uh, between the LEDs is very short, it means that some of the LEDs are not used uh, between the holes on the map. In the setup, I initialize the bridge on line 12 and the strand on line 13 and turn off all of the LEDs on line 14. The eternal loop starts by getting the content from the omnichannel service on line 19 to 26 and be sure to replace the four zeros there with the IP address of your server. And then I extract the status on lines 27 to 34 and set the LED colors depending on the status on line 32. And the colors, as you see, are using also the function on lines 39 to 42. Then the new colors are set to the strand on line 35, followed by a 5 second delay on line 36, before the loop starts over again. Now you can get an instant update on the financial market in the world by just looking at the map. This is just one example of how you can visualize financial information and another would be to use the map as a business intelligence dashboard by putting an LED on the map for each office that your organization has and then let the colors show a KPI for each office. It could be revenue, sales, profit or utilization. And you could also have some buttons on the map to select the different KPIs. So that's how you can use the Internet of Things in the finance sector and with that, I wish you the best of luck with your Internet of Things project. Thank you.